My name is Philip Tischler, and I am a member of CU Air, Cornell University's unmanned air systems team. CU Air is a project team at Cornell focused on the design, construction, and testing of an unmanned air system for autonomous reconnaissance missions. In this series of videos, I will be describing a stabilized gimbal system that was developed for CU Air as the final project for ECE 4760, digital system design using microcontrollers which is a course at Cornell taught by Professor Bruce Land. This video shows a stabilization test that was done to demonstrate the performance of this new system. A camera was mounted to the gimbal system and a checkerboard image was placed below the camera. The gimbal was then rotated so that the checkerboard image would move in the video feed. Without stabilization, the checkerboard moves from side to side and warps due to changes in perspective. With stabilization, however, the same squares stay within the frame and no warping is visible. The physical gimbal was mounted to a test rig and the stabilized gimbal control board was then held to this rig as the rig was rotated. As you will see in the following video, the stabilized gimbal system actuated the servos so that the physical gimbal would keep the camera pointed at the ground. The camera you see in the center is a point gray FLIA 3. Here you can see the physical gimbal being rotated and the stabilization board correcting for this motion by commanding the servos to keep the center position focused on the ground. Here the camera is not mounted but is merely to demonstrate how it looks from a third person view should be noted that the motion seen here are more extreme than would be seen in the aircraft itself while it's flying a mission. This is another view of the gimbal board being rotated. In this view you can see the center position does not change orientation as the physical gimbal is rotated. Here you see the video feed from the camera that was mounted to the gimbal. During this section, no stabilization is performed, and the checkerboard pattern moves into and out of the video frame. The same thing occurs during the mission as the aircraft rolls and pitches to keep on track. When this happens, targets that appear below the aircraft are not imaged by the camera. This can cause CUR to miss targets that it would otherwise see had the camera been facing towards the ground. Here the same motion is applied, but stabilization is used to keep the camera focused on the checkerboard pattern. The checkerboard pattern stays beneath the camera and very little perspective changes are seen. As shown, stabilization helps keep the camera focused on the ground, which will allow CU Air to take more pictures of targets during the AUVSI SUAS competition mission. For more information, please see cuair.engineering.cornell.edu.